Hi guys, welcome to Scott's Comics and Collectibles, episode one. Uh, I'm going to take you through what I've done this weekend. So I ended up popping to a toy shop called Nerd Base in Essex. Brilliant place, lots of vintage and modern toys. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. After the video's ended, I'll just show you some of the pickups that I brought up and something I brought off Facebook Marketplace as well. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
So let's go over the pickups. So this is what I picked up from Nerdbase. So if you look first of all, picked up Ernest. As a kid, I absolutely adored the Ernest movies. Saw this in Nerdbase and thought it's definitely coming home with me. Uh, yeah, like I said, the movies were fantastic. Definitely remember Ernest Scared Stupid. Uh, brilliant movie. So yeah, great price. Guys done me a good deal on that. So that come home with me. I guess if we go on to some of the other bits and pieces out there, they had a lot of Mighty Max. And as I was growing up, I had also a lot of Mighty Max in my collection. Don't have any anymore and was really after a sealed piece. Uh, so lucky enough to pick up this as well, this Mighty Max sealed piece. Uh, brilliant little playset here. Definitely happy with it. Again, a really good price from the guys at Nerdbase. And just look at the art on the back as well. You know, you don't get toys like that anymore. So really happy with that. I guess one of the other pieces I ended up picking up, so I ended up looking at a lot of the Star Wars. I've got a lot of vintage Star Wars myself, but don't have this in my collection currently and saw it there uh, and thought, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. So I ended up picking up the carry case from the 80s to put your original figures in. So, yep, again, really good shape. It's got some weapons in here as well that are falling apart. So Lando's staff and body costume but yeah again someone's already put the labels in there but again that was a brilliant piece to be picking up so i picked that up from nerd base as well and then as i said at the beginning so i was lucky and fortunate enough to meet someone on facebook marketplace they didn't want to be named they didn't want to be in a video fair enough that's down to them however i was able to pick up a, a boxed n64 with a few games so you know, picked up the N64 GoldenEye Edition. Really nice condition, to be fair. Uh, so really happy with that. And then when we go through games, you've got the extension pack, which again, it's quite nice to find out with that because certain games require that to play. The world is not enough. Again, boxed. Good condition. Mario 64, a little bit, you know, tear out of the top corner, but I'll take that. And then a few more box games that were in there as well. So you had WrestleMania 2000. And again, that's a brilliant game. I absolutely love that game. Mario Kart. Again, another good game. Banjo and Kasui. Another good game. And then you've got F-Zero X. Which is another racing game. So I'm happy with that. And then the guy actually ended up throwing in a lot of loose games. Which I wasn't expecting. But he said there was no point of him holding on to them. So you got Torret. Wave Racer, Lilac Wars. Didn't know that this one was on there, but you got Rayman 2. 1080 Degrees, which is a good snowboarding game. And then obviously the classic, which must go in the box, which is Goldeneye. So yeah, uh, guys, a pretty good week for me in terms of pickups. I guess the main pickup for me that I was really happy with is the Ernest Talking Doll. I've been after that for a long time. It's up there as one of the pieces I want to really put into my collection, along with a Godzilla Shogun toy. So again, if anyone's got that Shogun Godzilla toy, I know there's a lot of people after it, but definitely drop me a comment in the feedback and I'll definitely come back to you if it's a good enough price. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Again, if you've got any feedback or anything I can improve on, it is my first video, but I'm willing to listen to feedback. Definitely drop it in the comments below. And hopefully have a, another video for you next week where I'm expecting to go back to the boot sales and pick up quite a few decent things. So I'll film that and hopefully you enjoy that as well. Thanks for watching.